In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask as a Mary of the Rosary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. 
For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asks for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law of promise. The Gospel. In that first reading, Queen Esther finds herself in a tough situation. She is a Hebrew woman who has been married to a pagan king and has been made queen. There is a, an evil man in the king's court who has decided to declare war on the Hebrew people and wipe them out. And he has gone to the king to, to, to get the king against those people and, and to get the king's assistance in this effort. And now Queen Esther finds herself in the position of being perhaps the only one who can stop this Holocaust. And so she's preparing herself to go before the king, knowing that in doing so, she is taking her life in her hands. She would rather not. She would rather not. But she is mustering up the courage to do so. And in that moment of mustering, she turns to God and asks God for his help in turning the king's heart against this enemy, against the Hebrew people. Prayers of petition. That is what Jesus talks about today in the Gospel passage, in which we ask God for something. Of course, they shouldn't be the only prayers that we offer to God. But sometimes prayers of petition are cuckoo. We shouldn't ask God for things, I hear people say. Not true. Not true. It is appropriate to enlist God, ask for his help in those things that we take on that are good. So should prayers of petition should be said? Should we ask God for things? Yes, we should make legitimate requests of God. Petition him for his help and support. All good comes from God. So how do we work with God? How do we work with God? Well, first we recognize that all good comes from God. We recognize that right at the beginning. If we want to accomplish anything good, we recognize that it will come from God. So we ask ourselves, is our quest a good one? Is what we're asking for a good thing? And then we prepare ourselves to work with God. So Queen Esther, you notice, doesn't just say, listen God, we've got some real problems here. This man has turned against the Hebrew people. Please fix that. No. What she's preparing to do is to go and speak to the king, knowing that this could be her death sentence. And so she musters up the courage herself to do that. But asks for God to be with her. And so when we make a prayer or a petition, we ask for God to be with us as we move forward in something. We recognize all good comes from Him. We recognize we are completely dependent on Him. And then we put ourselves into God's service for accomplishing what is good. Every morning, every morning, I, I, I ask God to guide me, to guide me. I don't ask Him to make all the decisions. But I ask Him to guide me with the hopes that in the decisions I work, I, I make, in the things that I do, God will be there behind me, helping me to choose the right ones. Sometimes in working with God, all we can do is pray. Sometimes that's all we can do. But many, many, many times, we are called to be co-workers with God.
trusting in God's mercy and compassion, we offer our prayers and petitions. For missionaries who work to spread the gospel, may God bless their efforts in drawing others closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For national and local leaders, may the grace of God grant them discerning hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the chronically ill, may God bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit unify us in love for Christ and service to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, including Elizabeth Bradnick and Frank Langan, may they rest in the peace of God's perfect love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Eileen O'Brien, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear the prayers we have brought before you in the name of Jesus the Lord.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with us and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, and our sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and our sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and our sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word of my soul.
We pray, O oh Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you.